across those ex, uh, extreme South Georgia regions and uh, nearer to that cold front that's lingering as a stationary front in middle Georgia. So that's why we have the main focus of the more organized storms, but we've had a steady, healthy wind flow coming in from the Southwest plus have you felt how humid it is outside? That is one of the big driving forces in creating the active weather. It's abnormally muggy outside and warm for that matter. Now that lingering front stays to the north and the current showers and heavy rain that's across our South Georgia counties that will likely fade out between now and about nine o'clock. So our severe level weather risks are decreasing quite a bit, but we do have at least some ongoing chances for some active weather even over the next, I'd say one, two, maybe three hours. But that whole boundary retreats tomorrow and it looks like it'll be a much lighter, uh, less intense weather pattern. But still in South Georgia, I'd say north of Highway 84, thunderstorms may still contain some strong gusts of wind, occasional lightning, can't rule out one of those quick forming tornadoes either. And you might notice if you can see just above me, the scrolling message of a severe thunderstorm warning that's apparently for Clinch County. So there's still at least some ongoing risk and that corresponds with our isolated severe weather risks near the state line and over into the northern edge of Clinch County for this evening and later on tonight. But tomorrow, the severe weather risk is essentially zero. It doesn't stay that way for the entire stretch of days ahead of us. We do have another stronger front pushing in on Sunday that will renew more widespread severe weather risks for our area that we'll talk about more in detail next half hour. And it's also going to bring in much colder air for next week.